Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite Explosive 1. Jonas, I'm the man on this deck. Yeah, you are, dude. Uh, we're playing Control. Just got the ability to fly, so I'm be using that a lot are now. you a fly boy, dude? Uh, you can, I can freaking fly, dude. I'm kind of mad that they give it to you this late in the game. I believe I Maybe we're only halfway through. I don't think so. I kind of feel like we're coming up because, like, the whole reason that Jesse's even here is to find her brother, and I'm basically, whoa. At the point where you're finding your brother. Right. Well, supposedly, we'll see. All right, so... Yeah, you are kind of going into the abyss, dude. This definitely feels like you're heading towards, like, endgame sort of area. Right? Oh, man, the You music. got a special ability to get through. Because this might be one of the games that you can continue to play it once you beat it, you know what I mean? Oh, hello. Hi, guys. We were just exploding just, in every way of shape or form. Decided to come right in my face and just blow up all over it. Wow, dude. I'm gonna your face blown up on you. <laughs> no, dude, I haven't. That's the problem. Yeah. That's why I'm not very appreciative of the entire ordeal. You never even had a woman explode. In your face. Jonas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a blow a fart in your mouth. <laughs> like an air biscuit, dude. Can't get a baker's dozen. Well, dude, I'll give you a freaking milk mustache. Oh, dude, like I just ate some cocoa? Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, you just, <laughs> like you just put your face up against the opening of a peanut butter jar. <laughs> was, Jon was Jonas eating out of the cocoa jar again? <laughs> You've been eating Nutella? <laughs> <laughs> just flipping Winnie the Pooh and Nutella. What's just this? wiping it on my face. <laughs> this is brown ring around your, your mouth. Ooh. Do, tell them, Mom, I love it, okay? Do I need to get this? I do. Oh, you can grab stuff while you're floating? <laughs> dude, you can do whatever, dude. You can do whatever you like. What is it? Uh, Look at me, I'm flying. <laughs> da -da, you can da -da. see a world of pure imagination. <laughs> Did you ever see Peter Pan? Doesn't really On Broadway? Seem uh, I mean, there was a Broadway I don't think of I, it. I saw Hook. <laughs> okay, Hook is kind With of like Rufio. The, that's the layman's Peter Pan. Yes. I don't like do things like that make people sing when they do it. You don't like musicals? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm not opposed, I guess, but I don't want... <laughs> I mean, I don't, you I don't, literally just said I don't, I don't like it when people sing. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't uh, seek them out. Search the maximum security... Fifth floor. Fifth floor. I thought it was sixth floor. I thought he was in P6. I can say that the musicals I have seen, which are very few, mm -hmm. are okay. Dude, I freaking love musicals. I'm not even going to lie. I love them. They're probably like my, my favorite. Some of my favorite movies are musicals. Like We were just talking about... Uh, oh, by the way. I'm up here now, by the way. Hello. By the way. Uh, we were just talking about... Uh, uh, on the last episode, what was the uh, the musical we were just talking about? We were talking about a musical? Yeah. Shooting puppies with a BB gun. Oh, that's a musical? <laughs> yes, man. Like, every character has a song. Oh, yeah, I guess so, dude. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess I like that musical. Little Shop of Horse. Yeah, yeah. I love Little Shop of Horse. Cannibal oh. musical. Oh, it's a swan. I do love. Stop looking at me, swan. I do love Cannibal the musical. Dude, that float. Yeah, dude. What other musicals are good? Uh, People say Chicago's good. Never seen it. What yeah. do you think about Grease? Are you a Grease oh, boy? That's a, that's a musical too, isn't it? 100%. So. I am just an idiot. So is Cry Baby, I think. Right? I love that movie. It was a musical too. Dang, dude. I yeah. like musicals. Uh, What else? Um, I want to see what other entities are being locked up. Dude, Crybaby's a good movie. It is a good movie, isn't that Johnny Depp? Yeah, Hatchet like, Face. <laughs> hatchet Face. What Tracy Lords was in it. What is that? Is that a balloon? It is a balloon. It's I had such balloons. a crush on her when I was a little kid when that movie came out. <laughs> and then if I then I was like, oh my god, like I found her history out, and I was like, Hatchet Face. No, Tracy Lords. Oh, <laughs> what did Tracy Lords do? She was a porn actress. She was a pornographic movie star? She she got into the adult industry before she was 18 and made a ton of uh, adult movies with a fake ID. Really? And then they found out that she was a she was underage because she lied. Wait a minute, what? She, <laughs> ma she made actual adult movies for sale 
when she was under 18. Yo. And then she only ever made like one after she turned 18 because they find that found out she was underage and they like obviously like got rid of all of them because she was an underage girl in porn and then she made one, like one movie after she turned 18. I did not know that was a thing. And then in like Cry Baby by that point she was like in her 20s or something, you know, so she was just like an older woman at that point. But. I did not know that was a thing. Mhm. That is insidious. It was like that's like the biggest porn scandal I think there's been. P6 she, sale. She had like a fake fake documentation. So she appeared 18, looked 18, everything about her checked out that she was 18. I don't even know if she used a fake she might have, I mean obviously she used a pseudonym in porn I think her real name is Tracy Lords, but I think it all, you know, they checked everything, and I think that was part of the reason they changed, like, laws about keeping copies of documents and all that sort of stuff. Yo, that's nuts, man. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> it's the Wild West in the 70s, dude, or the 80s, I should yeah, say. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't know exactly what it was. Yeah, 70s, Hello. 80s. Hello? Can you hear me? Hi. But that was, like, before I knew she, that, that story about her, and I was just, like, a little boy, like, God, she's, I mean, she's pretty. It doesn't really like make me feel any differently about her, I guess. Not her as a person. I mean, that is definitely effed up, but you Oh know, yeah, exactly. Like I know I feel what you're saying. Yeah. Like whatever. Like, so, yo, she was scamming, getting that money, you know, sometimes it's a I hustle. mean I mean if a girl shows what? up and has all the documentation that she is legal <laughs> age and comes to the industry and then they're like, Wait, you're not a legal age? And she's like, Oh yeah, no, I was just kidding. Like Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> right. They did their diligence and just they I mean they didn't they can't take her ass to the stole with that. <laughs> and look at this business. Are you there? Hello. Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. No. He or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. GG Dylan, listen. dude. Dylan's here with us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. Wow, wow, wow. We must Let's isolate see. him. I'm on my way. Is this thing? Oh, there he is, dude. There he is, Billy Corgan. Yep. I have to tonight, see my tonight. Right. I really, really like that song. I a lot. love that freaking song. It's like one of my favorite songs by that man. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. It's a, just like a really beautiful song. We're talking about. Tonight. Like, it sounds terrible the way we're singing, especially oh, for drums. Sure. But, uh, like, Tonight Tonight by Smashing Pumpkins is an amazing yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. If you've never heard Tonight yeah. Tonight by there's, Smashing Pumpkins. There's a, there's a viable chance that... And uh, Today today by Smashing Pumpkins is pretty good, too. Today today is good, but it ain't no Tonight Tonight. No, Disarm was Dude, pretty good. I, I totally forgot I could fly already. <laughs> yeah, like, those two albums are probably their best two albums. Siamese Dream and Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. I would uh, say those two were the best two albums. Yes, I actually have Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness on CD in my car. Yep. Currently. A lot of... Uh, what is this like back when people put out double disc CDs. This computer. Albums. Nobody really does that anymore. They barely put out like eight songs now. <laughs> uh, you know, it's actually funny because like uh, I watch like some shows that like analyze, or I watch some podcasts that like analyze the stuff. What, and they say talking? like when a person puts out a bunch of songs like that, like nobody's l l looking for that much music. But now that like streaming is a big thing now, yeah. like people will put out that many songs in order to like amplify like the stream sales or whatever. Yeah, like. Or yeah, that's true. It's hard to it's hard to add like twenty new songs to your like listening library that you're gonna you know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody. I mean, people don't have that much time to listen to me. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm not listening to twenty eight songs, dude. I'm not doing it. I ain't got time for it. I'm not in my car long enough. Nobody's going to the club or anything. I'm not listening to right. twenty eight songs. Well, that one, yeah, because didn't Drake put out that double disc? It was like twenty eight songs or something. Yeah, but that you know, like when true fans are going to be like, oh, I really like this deep cut. So you put out like a bunch of music, and then somebody ends up listening to like some of the deep cuts over and over again or something. I don't know. I get right. it. Right, no, no, I get it, but like, but you're right, dude. It's like, you, if you can pop out an album and put out like a seven song album that's like 27 that's minutes, that's perfectly fine, dude. That's I'll great. listen to your 27. I'll listen to your seven song album. 
All right, like for, yeah, like, dude, 27 minutes, that's like going to the grocery store and back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Like, if you put out a, a seven-song album, Jonas, I would listen to it. And I don't even like you. Oh, that's nice, dude. I mean, I love you, but I don't like you. I feel you, dude. I got you. Yeah, no, dude. It's nice you would listen to my work. Yeah, I know, but I can't even get you to put in freaking... <laughs> Maybe I'm gun shy to do a co-op with you, dude. Maybe if I got my solo, my solo project, I'd be like Joni Two Guns. Drops we'll put out the solo, dude. I'd like to hear the song, dude. We could do it. We could do a uh, speaker box love below. Put up, put up. Fi- we each put out five solo tracks, and then after we get them all done, we'll do one combo track. And that's literally speaker box love below. That's, that's what I meant, though. Yeah, but is yeah. that what it happens? Uh yeah, if you like like Outkast was always known for being a rap duo. Uh huh. Or and then like uh, at one point in time they came out with Speaker Box and Love Below, which was a double disc album that had both of them doing basically solo albums. Okay. And then Hey Ya, do you remember that yeah, song? Oh yeah, that, hey, like song is like super famous. That song went freaking. Um, it went like freaking double platinum diamond whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then speaker box didn't do quite as well and then you know they never came out with another album after that it was like their last rock because they hate each other yeah dude like you can tell like something happened they're all like look at this double album we both did solo (laughs) projects and they're like but you didn't put out any songs together they're like no dude but we got these solo projects guess what no more albums (laughs) right basically so where the hell do I go? You gotta, there... like, you gotta like uh, get inside there, dude. I already been in. Oh, excuse me. I already been in there, dude. I was thinking Speak like with Emily, the executive boardroom. Oh my god, dude! I gotta what? I gotta I gotta fly back. Oh, this was his thing, dude. What does that say? Oh. J. Is that a J or yeah, a it says, B? It says Jesse backwards. Oh okay. So this is this is his containment cell. Nice, dude. All so right. I guess you're. Is there like a little like satellite thing to like, um, yeah, take you weird. home? Yeah, it doesn't look like there is, which Country is what roads. I was looking for. It kind of looked like there might be one, but there is not one. So I'm just gonna head back. Like you belong. I don't feel like I belong, but you know that's that's something I got to deal with myself. There might be a thing. I'm a jaggler. A Mick Jagger. A Mick Jagger. Back here, I think, actually. Come on! Open! Make it open. I shot it last shot, time. Shoot the exit door. Oh. Did that work? No? There we go. Open. How did... I don't know, dude. It, it just opens when it wants. Wait, there was red lights in there. There's not like a send me home. No, thing? dude. There's not a send me home thing. You sound like my mom when you talk like that. Send me home thing? Yeah, that's something my mom would say. I've transversed from dad talk to mom talk. Now, dude. <laughs> it's just, it's no, just, just something mom, my mom I'm would say. Like, like, be safe at the party. Don't drink and drive. This is something she would say, dude. I always hated that, but, you know, I say stuff like that, too. It's fine. Mom talk is fine. Mom talk's cool. I mean, what can we do, dude? Can't stop you. Listen to him talk about moms. <laughs> um. So, I guess I really can't do anything here. I don't know if I can get up that high. Can I get up here? No, I cannot. That's too high. Come on, dude. I can fly, and now I'm being gated. All right. <laughs> They're all like, here's this new power. But no, nah, dude, you can't go all the way up. Yeah, you, can't, you. you can't even go anywhere with it, though. Just freaking stay on the ground, you idiot. Uh, freaking idiot. I might be able to, actually. Hmm, I don't know. But I can maybe make it over to this elevator? All right, maybe not. Can I get in here though? I can, dude. What the heck is this? It's maintenance his nodes. Oh, oh it's that's a little. yeah, it's a little uh, time missions. All right, I'd like to come in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Hello. All right, fudge you then. I guess I can't go in there. I guess I'll just go down. Enemies, what a surprise. 
Dude, I freaking love flying now, dude. I mean, who wouldn't like flying? It's the best. It really is the best. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. It doesn't take any, like, magic either. Which is cool. Excuse me. Hard to aim. Oh, gravy boat mysteries. I'm dead. You should have made them pay with no, their lives. I decided to fly where there was no cover, and which was a bad idea. Uh, I guess I'll stay terrestrial. Extra terrestrial. Aw, are you like E.T., dude? Did you phone home? Do you like Reese Pieces? I do love Reese's Pieces, Jones. I'm a big Reese boy, though. Yeah, dude. Big old Reese boy. You know, I feel like a bad friend because you are. I uh, <laughs> I told you I'd get you some. I get you some Jif at the store, and not only did I not get you Jif, I made you give me a ride, and I still didn't get you any Jif, dude. It's, it's really okay. No, dude, it's not. I mean, you can feel guilty all you why want. Don't, but why don't you write me a letter telling me how I'm okay? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Why don't you validate me, dude? Uh, because that's not my job to validate you. It's not. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I have a hard time doing things that I wouldn't want done for myself. Because <laughs> I don't really. It just I'd doesn't, write you a letter. It doesn't compute in my mind. I'll compute you. Oh, well, hey, look at looky here, dude. Made it. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah dude. Boy, this is great. Yeah, this is actually amazing. The Pompsion, dude. Right, I think he's here, right? Yeah. So she, he's, Yeah, right there, dude, in the boardroom. Yeah, she's right. just chilling. She's going to be like, what have you done? And she's like, where's Dylan? Oh, my God, Dylan's gone. Oh, my God, I like it. I, where's your picture? Oh, my God, you're fast. Here's my key card. You want a level six key card? <laughs> That's going to happen. No, the level six key card is on the horizon. Dude, right? they're just about to, they're gonna, she's going to slide it into your breast <laughs> pocket when you're not paying attention. Don't, don't, don't talk about my breast pocket. I don't talk about your thigh pocket, too. Give me, whoa, Jonas. <laughs> thigh pockets. Why don't they have thigh pockets? That's actually like a good idea. You just slide, tuck it right Slide there. your phone in there, dude. <laughs> keep it nice and warm. Give you a little jolt when you keep that bad boy on vibrate. Yeah, dude. But give you give yourself a crotch Ooh, pocket, dude. Little, Put it right down in there. Give you a little jump start. What if I got a kangaroo patch right in front of my crotch? <laughs> Put my phone in there. And call myself over and over on vibrate. <laughs> It's great, a crotch pocket. I kind of <laughs> like the idea of a crotch pocket. I mean, it, there's free real estate. You can put there. a hand warmer in there if it's cold outside. I don't know about that, Jonas. Keep your keep your boys toasty, dude. You want to be able to have full seminal advancement if you get the opportunity. No, because like your crotch, you know, like it's it's, it's already hot. Tend to see the smell sometimes. It, well, it's all it's always hot. Like, it's always warm down there, dude. Right. You can be cold as F, but your taint's warm. Right? You short out your Samsung. <laughs> I to shove. They're going to be like moisture in your charging port. After all these years, Dylan is here. All right. Where is he? Oh, but am I too late? Nope. How is he? We lied. I need to know. Here's my level six key card. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? <gasps> of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. I'll just fly Jesse. up. Be careful. All right, sweet. <clears throat> Speak with Dylan on the upper level. Dude. Oh, that's here, dude. <clears throat> I'll just... F Wait, I can't... I can't... Dude, I can't fly in here! The F, dude! They won't let me. Is this what I'm supposed to... No, that's it. Pick that up. It's a jukebox token, dude. Put a record on. You can play uh, hold back button to activate. Oh, oh. No, that's a mission, Jonas. The F, dude. Why do I always do? I don't know. Why do I? Why do I listen? <laughs> don't rock the jukebox, dude. You know that guy died of COVID. 
Well, I don't even know who you're talking Joe about. Joe Diffie. I don't know who that is. He either. rocked the jukebox, dude. Now, which mission was I supposed to be doing? Uh, that one, face the enemy, up one. Yep, this one, right there. Speak with Dylan on the upper level. All right, cool. So I guess, like, honestly, we're kind of like blazing through this game a little bit. Are we? A little bit. Is this where I'm supposed to go? We're doing good. We're good boys. This is upper level, though. This, these are it's obviously lower. stairs down. Oh, there's there's stairs up here. And the <laughs> <laughs> go up, dude. I am going to go up. That's why I'm going to go home, dude. I already Swan. listened to that. But I thought the, the jukebox is in here. I just wanted to see if, like, because I remember this being the jukebox. Can I not get in your jukebox area? I want to put a record on. Nope. You can't juke them, all juke right, jam. Fine. I just remember the jukebox is in there, and I was like, hey, put a record on. I was like, all right, cool, I'll do that. All right, we're going to go upstairs. There's stairs. I mean, I can fly, guys, I swear. It's just not working in this room for some reason. All right, so this is... Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's head? Language? Whoa! Would you shoot your brother? That's no one's brother anymore. Hey, where's Dylan? Plain and simple. Excuse me? Punch. It doesn't work. She has like a grenade launcher or something. Word. Like, I can't do anything violent once. Now that I'm out of there, I can do whatever I want. All right, so this is the director's office. This, oh, is, this is my office, dude. There's, there's not brains on the floor anymore. No, I like to keep my chair over. Oh, no, oh, no there is. There's brains. Oh, yeah. nice. Dude, yeah, they kept I, it. I spilled some chili. It's all right, though. Oh, it's still moist. <laughs> it's that extra moist. Oh, there's chili. like a little detour from that room. Do you see it? It's like a yeah. side cabin. That's where we got to. That's where we did the first three light switch thingy. Uh, it's through there. Ah, all right. So hey, I'm not hey, sure. Hey, yeah, because this is not the right way. I don't know how to get to the upper levels. How do? You, oh, maybe I take the elevator, Jonas. Duh, you big dummy. Let me in here. Whoa. Okay. Dude, I walked in the room, there was that many sticky notes in it. I think I would have an attack. Yeah, man. Like, this is kind of nuts. I would want to read them all. I wouldn't. Hit I'd the be wall, like, dude. Just make the chaos happen, dude. Make the... Make the make <gasps> I just got to launch efficiency up, dude. I can't do anything... Uh, I can't do anything violent in this room, Aww, Jonas. dude, what the F? I can't even, like, pull my gun out. I just have to, like, I can just walk around. I can just observe. This is pretty cool, though. That's really a, an ingenious idea of trying to make me feel uneasy about things. Yeah. Mmm, I know, and I can't destroy anything. I get, I get uneasy, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta put this on real quick, dude, because I rock launch efficiency, dude, and I just got, oh, it's better. Put it on. It is, dude. You, God, you are awesome. All right, so we'll see if I can maybe take the elevator up. Ooh. Ooh, uh, please let me know. Ooh, all right, can I go up? Does that say that's maintenance? Maintenance, maintenance, containment. So no, I can't. How do I get to the upper levels of here? The Doesn't explanitate that. Wait, let's see what does it say. Cafeteria nostalgia department. Dead letters. Dead Maybe letters. through there? No, that can't be it, dude. That doesn't even make sense. Is there steps that go up? There's steps that go down. I've already been over here, Jonas. I've already looked that way. I got it. I'm just going to go up. I'm just going to go up here. Yeah. We're going to go up here. We're on the top floor, and then we're going to say, hey, what's up, guys? What are you guys up to? Guarding this door. What's in here? There we are. Found them. Oh, I trapped him already? Yeah, dude, he's just wearing some... Why is he wearing a light gray sweatsuit from Walmart? Show off his package. He wants to show his taint sweat. The hell? What is he talking about? He's just rambling without subtitles, so I couldn't hear him. How'd they trap him again so fast? He he did it willingly, Jonas. If you were 
He gave himself up, if you recall. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. You're not talking. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third, third person. person. I want to start that. Sign. Do you know who you are? <laughs> Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You what? want this Please to stop be that. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. <laughs> it feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. <laughs> the fudge? Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. Whoa. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. Langy. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to help me. You. You, you came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it. Orange peel. Shit. Orange Shit. peel. He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. Uh -huh. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found they opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. Of course. There. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I hear worms of tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> just plastic. So safe. Nothing. Sing a Justin about. Bieber song. I know, right? <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in to get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. Yeah, you are figured. a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Regulations. <laughs> maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. Yep. The hiss is the better option. <laughs> Go to the All prime right. candidate program in the containment sector. All right. I have the key card to get you there. No. Oh. Salvador wanted me to have it. What? Salvador, dude, Sally. Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. All right, hand me that I'll level go. six, boy. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. Yeah. We can end this. Yeah. Sure, boy. Give me that level six, boy. Give me that level six, boy. Level six. Oh my God. Say, 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 <laughs> say, 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 say. 
<laughs> okay, I can't remember. Ichi, Nissan. Ah, that's all enough. Eins, drei, vier, fünf, acht, sieben. Acht. Acht, dude. All right, so I got to go to containment. Nice. It's not this way. That's this way. Elevator? Oh, loving an elevator. All right, but we'll get there on the next episode. All right, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. New Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch. That's TNT Dynamite. JST underscore Crazy Town at Twitch. Draw TV. Hell yeah for Jonas. <laughs> oh, we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> we are out.